To prove that Reform UK is serious about the next general election, Richard Tice and the party have revealed a list of key target seats to focus on. Welcome back to the show, everybody. We are seeing and hearing a lot more from Reform UK over the last few days and weeks. Uh, Richard Tice has been proactive. Even Nigel Farage is uh, uh, teasing us with his return to frontline politics. And Reform UK as a whole, as a party, they seem to be more organized. They seem to be having a proper planning. And regardless of the fact that some people watching this, you know, that you might be tribal, you might still be... You know, member of the Tory party or you know maybe Labour or whatever, in reality this is actually still good for the health of British democracy. It's good to have challenges uh, coming up uh, to essentially uh, fight against uh, the main two parties. Now we do have a list, a list uh, of some of the uh, target seats that have been published and we're going to analyze them, we're going to compare them to what happened last time. So let's, keep, let's look at the this list, Barnsley East, uh, Hartlepool, Doncaster North, uh, Wentworth and Dean, Don Valley and uh, Rother Valley, uh, Bolsover, Rotherham, Macfield, uh, Stock, uh, Sto Stoke on Trent North and of course Mansfield. Now Mansfield was an interesting one because they didn't actually have a candidate last time. Now let's compare this to how they did in 20. 19. Now, 2019, now, of course, the name of the party was different. The Brexit party was uh, active, but it was the same team, basically. And 2019 was also the key election for Boris Johnson, up to a point where even Nigel Farage, who was still leading the party, um, decided to, to avoid Jeremy Corbyn from winning the election and destroying Brexit. Uh, he decided to actually withdraw from some of the key uh, seats to make sure that Tories at least win those seats. Um, but so that see that that election 2019 was peak Tories and peak Boris Johnson, so they did really well. Now, despite that, let's look at the percentage of how uh, these guys did in in that election. So, despite the fact, as I said, the Tories were just on fire in Barnsley East. Uh, Richard Tyson and his, his team and his party they've got 29.2 percent of the vote, and Hartlepool they've got 25.8 percent of the vote. Doncaster North. 20.4%, and then we've got 16.9%, 13.7%, uh, even when you look at Rotherham, 17.2%. Uh, Mansfield, they didn't have a candidate, but this is actually quite promising, these numbers, because as I said, it, it wasn't even a serious election really for um, like the Brexit party back then, uh, because uh, everybody basically rallied the troops behind Boris Johnson and his uh, campaign slogan who gets Brexit done. So getting these numbers in that year is quite impressive. And now the Tories are going down. And now the Labour Party is still not really fully trusted. Expect these numbers to get even higher at the next election. Now, if they play their cards right, there could be a serious threat. They could actually win a number of these seats. We will see how they do, of course. You know, there's no... Um, kind of illusion of uh, how the party system and the first past the first works in this country, but it is possible uh, for a third party like Reform UK to actually become a serious challenger. Now, uh, we're going to take a quick break. Actually, we might have the, uh, I might do a live stream later on today, but uh, otherwise there will be covering everything else on the channel on a regular basis. So the best thing you can do is subscribe to the channel, click on the notification bell next to it, Amaya Tusi and we are the media.